the American Mall, once the local hangout for young teens and retired speedwalkers, has become a ghost town only full of empty retail stores and pop-up gold buyers. When the mall was popular, there were many different types of retail stores to service the need of all ages. From the anchor chain stores like JCPenney's, Bell's, and Sears, to clothing stores like The Gap, to the book readers at B. Dalton, and to the music enthusiasts with The Record Bar. There was something for everyone under one roof. One store, almost at every mall, aimed for the younger mall rats, was the toy outlet KB Toys. KB Toys was a wholesale toy store that first opened in 1946. In order to expand the retail stores, the wholesaler store was closed and the company focused on bringing small retail stores to shopping malls in 1973. The stores, called KB Toy and Hobby, got its name from the initials of its founders, the Kaufman Brothers. They opened 26 mall-based stores in the first year. In 1977, the company shortened its name to KB Toys. By the end of the 70s, KB Toys became the nation's fastest-growing toy store chain, with 170 locations across the eastern and midwest of the United States. In 1981, the Melville Corporation, best known at the time for being the owners of the off-price clothing store Marshalls, purchased KB Toys from the Kaufman family for $6.2 million, taking ownership of all 210 stores. In 1983, KB Toys bought 37 of the 45 Toy World stores, who was the leading mall toy store on the West Coast. This purchase gave KB Toys a strong hold over mall toy stores in the U.S. In 1990, to compete with their takeover of mall toy stores, Melvin bought out the toy chain Circus World, who had 330 stores across the U.S. for $95 million. The following year, the company would also buy KK's Toys 136 stores. With this purchase, KB Toys was now what their slogan said it was, the toy store in the mall. Every major shopping mall had a KB Toy store inside. However, not everything was going great for KB Toys, who was seeing the expansion of toy retail giant Toys R Us outside the mall space. Between 1993 and 1994, KB Toys closed down 250 of its stores that was underperforming. To help compete with the non-mall retailer Toys R Us, KB Toys opened KB Toy Outlet in discount strip malls. These strip mall stores were in some areas known as toy liquidators. Mostly these stores would sell reduced price toys that were not selling in their main mall store. By the end of 1996, KB had over $1.1 billion in sales and was bought out by Big Lot's owner, Consolidated Store Corporation, for $315 million. Company sales would reach over $1.6 million by the end of 1998. That same year, they would team up with Brian Play to launch a website and web store, and also the logo would change from KB to just KB. By the end of the decade, KB Toys had 1,324 stores making it the second largest toy retailer in the U.S. In December 2000, a private investment firm would buy KB for $305 million in a partnership with the KB Toy Management Team. Bain Capital would use $18.1 million of its own money, while the remaining would be financed by banks. This sale caused KB Toys, for the first time in two decades, to now be a private company. In 2001, KB Toys would pop up twice at most major malls, as a small KB toy store would open for the Christmas season inside Sears. In the early 2000s, KB Toys was starting to deal with the rising cost of retail space inside malls. Malls who at the same time were seeing a sharp decline in visitors. 950 of the KB's 1,217 stores were located in malls, and KB Toys had $300 million in debt. In 2004, the company filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and closed 600 of their stores, laying off 3,400 of its 13,000 employees. In early 2005, KB Toy Store creditors, who included Hasbro and Lego among others, accused the company's executives and shareholders of improperly providing themselves with multi-million dollar payments prior to the filing of bankruptcy. That same year, Consolidated Stores now under the name Big Lots, filed a lawsuit against Bain Capital, alleging that it still owed them $45 million from the 2000 sale. By August of 2005, 
Due to the bankruptcy, most of the company was now owned by PKBT Holdings. Fane Capital attempted to retain control of KB Toys, but that control was given to Prantis Capital by a bankruptcy judge. That same year, Gregory Stanley, former president of Toys R Us, was named KB Toys' new chief executive. The troubled times were not over for KB Toys, as there were a major decline in mall traffic hurting every mall across the country. In 2007, the company had 566 stores and would close 122 of them by the end of the year. Due to the poor sales in its mall-based stores and competition with online retailers and Walmart, the company once again filed bankruptcy at the end of 2008 and started going out of business sales in December. At the time, KB Toys had over 10,000 employees, 277 mall-based stores, 114 toy outlet stores, 40 KB Toy Works, and 30 KB Toys Holiday Stores. It was still the largest mall-based toy retailer in the U.S. All KB Toy Stores and its outlet stores, along with its website, closed down on February the 9th, 2009 bringing to the end the second oldest toy retailer in North America, just behind FAO Swartz that was founded in 1862. The KB Toys brand and assets were sold to Toys R Us in September 2009 for $2.1 million. This buy was mostly for the company's logo, website, trademarks, and other properties. Toys R Us would use the name KB Toys on its self-manufactured toys, calling them KB Classics, and having the KB Toy logo. In 2016, Shirtigi Marks LLC, a company that buys defunct brands, bought the KB trademark after Toys Us allowed their copyright to lapse. In 2018, when Toys Us announced it would be going out of business in the U.S., Shirtigi Marks announced it would open 1,000 KB Toy pop-up stores in November 2018. However, that relaunch was delayed until 2019. And in March of 2019, the company's owner cited the lack of funding as a reason the Pablo stores would not be open as planned in 2019. Strategic Mark still holds the rights for the KB Toy logo and trademark and hopes to find investors to bring KB Toys back to the retail landscape. Until that day, we only have the memories of the great toy store with the battery-operated back-flipping barking dogs at our local mall. And that's a look at the rise and fall and maybe return of KB Toys. Please subscribe to the channel and click thumbs up so I know you like the content. Thank you for watching. Hot, we got a KB! Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.